at the tail of the tape, 35-year-old Buster Drayton. Age could be a factor in any fight for Drayton. So far, it has not affected his performance. He came in at 153. Jackson likewise at 153. And you can see a one-inch height advantage to the champion, Jackson. And a wild right-hand opener from the champion, Jackson, going for the home run ball on his first punch. But Drayton ready for it. Champion Jackson in gold. Buster Drayton in black trunks with red trim. No question that Drayton's been in there with the tougher guys. He's lost to some of them, but he does have victories over the likes of Dwayne Thomas, Clint Jackson, Mark Kaler, and Davey Moore. Whereas for Jackson, as we mentioned, really the only uh, semi-name fighter that uh, he has a victory over is Curtis Ramsey. In his biggest fight, he lost to Mike McCallum, trying for the same title when McCallum was the champion. Good body shot from Jackson. Banging with a right hand to the midsection. And again. Tim Jackson fights strictly by the book. Does everything exactly the way he's supposed to. <laughs> Drayton fights uh, by his own book, I guess you'd call it. He's liable to do anything in there. Well, we know that uh, in the loss to Matthew Hilton, when he lost his IBF title to the Canadian, uh, 15 rounds of grueling action he took a lot of punishment. And he went the distance, so he's a guy who can take a lot of shots, but for how long and the effect over his long career, hard to say. That's part of the mystery of this bout. Well, he's been down early a couple of times in previous fights, and that's why it's so important to watch these first two rounds. Jackson has had the better of this first round so far. He's feeding those body punches into Drayton. Pretty good. Drayton finally landed one of his own. A good shot to the side of Jackson. And he lands a left hook to the head. Jackson continuing to pound with both hands to the body. A minute to go. Round number one. in the last exchange. They both were taking them with the arms and elbows. Under the 30-second mark, under the 20 we go here in round one. Final seconds of the first round. Punching first round. We're into round two, scheduled for 12. The WBA junior middleweight title at stake. The champion in gold, Julian Jackson, his first defense against the former IBF champion at this weight, Buster Drake. Tim, you know, this fight may boil down to not who's the better pitcher, but who's the better catcher. They have held nothing back so far in that first round. Heavy punching by both boxers. Jackson does everything by the book. Jab, double jab, goes to the body, goes back up to the head. And Drayton does what he just did, leaping in right. <laughs> with one big bomb that nearly caught the jab. Switches to south, boy. You never know which, which direction he's coming at you from. Good work inside by the champion, Jackson, snapping back the head of Drayton. Landed an overhand right to the back of the head of Drayton. There you, there you see. There goes a right hand. Drayton down. Knockdown. Drayton, it looked to me, Gil, was actually pulling out at the moment he took the punch, so he was helping the impact. He was off balance, Tim. He pulled back his left foot, which is a no-no, but again, Drayton does a lot of no-nos. He got up smiling, but Jackson pressing the advantage now. And going to the body. Now up to the head. Drayton willing to trade. Looks a little wobbly leg. Standing there and pounding. Jackson trying to find 
an opening now. Good looking fighter Jackson, but he better not forget defense Tim. Uppercut to the point of the chin, under a minute to go, round two. And Drayton comes back with three shots of his own. Wild roundhouse punches, but he scored three of them. Well, you have to be very, very careful when you're fighting Buster Drayton. Beautiful combination by Jackson. Under the 32nd mark in round two. Both fighters missing in that exchange. Now Drayton lands a left uppercut. More bomb throwing as we finish round number two. Here's a look at that flash knockdown in round two scored by the champion Jackson. You saw the challenger Drayton backing up off balance, down he went. But at the end of that round, Gil, he looked like the stronger guy and he was really looking right into Jackson's eyes and saying, hey, now I'm ready, you woke me up. Tim, that's why when you fight Buster Drayton, you gotta remember that he can always hit you back. The best thing to do is keep your hands up, box, try to put those rounds in the bank. He couldn't wait to get off the stool to start round number three. Drayton in black, the champion in gold, Julian Jackson from St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands, Drayton from Philadelphia. He's been throwing bombs from the opening bell. That Jackson throws vicious punches to the body. Jackson making his first title defense. Drayton has been in four world title bouts. 1986, he won the IBF crown from Carlos Santos in tough 15 rounds, defended it twice, and then lost in 15 to Matthew Hilton. There's one of those swings of Drayton that you have to be careful of, Tim. It air conditioned the house, but if it landed, watch out. Come from any angle. Best thing to do with when you're fighting a busted plate, keep popping that jab, double the jab, keep your hands up at all times. He's trying to right hand lead and pay for it, uh, Gil, so he didn't hear your instruction. Drayton himself uh, knows he's an unorthodox fighter, doesn't bother him. He said that bothers the other guy. Under a minute to go, round three. Heavy punch to the body by Jackson, the champion. Jackson throws beautiful combinations, Tim. He sure does know how to punch to that body, which could bother a 35-year-old guy a lot. Yeah. Second mark we go. Tremendously grueling rounds these have been. What punishment Drayton is taking, Tim. Big round for Jackson here this last 30 seconds particularly. And Drayton is still firing back. Oh, a He's big left in. Oh, a tremendous left, left hand. Hook, Tim. Drayton right dropped on like the a button. tree. Drayton dropped like a tree. And he is not going to make it up. That's all over. He's trying desperately. Buster Drayton gamely trying to get up with a huge left hand for Julian Jackson, a third round knockout in his first defense of the WBA junior middleweight crown. And Tim, what an exciting fighter this Julian Jackson is. He lets it all hang out. Those beautiful combinations. A game Buster Drayton tried to get up from that. You don't too often see a boxer knocked down the way he was. It looked like somebody had just felled a huge, giant redwood tree. Well, Tim, Tim, all those body shots took care of the body shots, body shots, and that big left hook to the chin. There you see Drayton saying, hey, I'm all right. Let's go back and see it again. A straight, good, solid left hook. Now Jackson is pointing at the canvas, say, okay, good night. There it is. Look at the fall. And look at 
Jackson's right hand, Tim, telling him where to fall. Fortunately for Buster Drayton, and I watched very carefully from our eye level of ringside, it may have appeared that he banged his head on the ring, but actually he did not. He instinctively lifted his head, took the impact with his shoulders, and so apparently he is all right, and we certainly hope so. We'll be back live in Atlantic City.